Now on Simply Southern, it's time for the latest ag and farm news from across the state. And we've got a big story to kick off this rural roundup. Despite being a crucial part of the nation's economy, the average age of a farmer in America is nearing 60. But as you've seen here on the show, Alabama is home to several outstanding young farm families who are bucking that trend. Like Calhoun County's Daniel and Carla Trantham, who were recently named the best young farm family in the nation. The Tranthams of Alexandria won the Achievement Award from the American Farm Bureau Federation at the group's annual convention in Puerto Rico on January 9th. Their grand prize includes $35,000 toward a Ford vehicle. The Tranthams, who raise row crops and cattle, were eligible for the honor after winning the Alabama Farmers Federation's Outstanding Young Farm Family Contest last year. To hear a conversation with the Tranthams after their big win, check out the Federation's AgCast. It's available on iTunes and other podcast providers. Plus, you can search Simply Southern's YouTube channel to see our story about the Tranthams farm. The American Farm Bureau Convention also included welcome news for farmers when John Deere and American Farm Bureau signed an agreement that should make it easier for farmers to repair their own equipment. This is a big deal because in recent years, it has sometimes been unclear whether a farmer is allowed to repair equipment or if they have to call in and wait for a dealership repairman. Those misunderstandings can often lead to costly delays during planting or harvest seasons. American Farm Bureau said they are working with other manufacturers as well, so they hope to make similar announcements in the future. Recently, the U.S. Department of Agriculture sent out surveys to farmers for the Census of Agriculture. Performed every five years, the Census provides farming data for every county, state, and U.S. territory and is an important resource in highlighting the value of American agriculture. Any farm that sold $1,000 or more of agricultural products in 2022 is invited to participate. Now, it takes a while to tabulate the results. So expect the 2022 Census of Agriculture data to be released in 2024. You can find more details online at nass.usda.gov. Leadership Alabama brings professionals from across the state together to help move Alabama toward a better future. And the agriculture industry will be well represented in two of the group's upcoming leadership development programs. Poultry and cattle farmer Corey Hill will take part in Leadership Alabama Class 23. Hill, who you've seen here on our show before, is also mayor of the town of Douglas and owns a grocery store. Additionally, four agriculture professionals have been selected for the Alabama Leadership Initiative Class 5. They are Emmanuel Bankston, Nicole Carpenter, Hunter McBrayer, and Andrew Pinion. Bankston is superintendent at Golden Peanut and Tree Nuts in Headland. Carpenter works with Jones Valley Teaching Farm in downtown Birmingham. McBrayer is the Young Farmers Division Director here at the Alabama Farmers Federation in Montgomery, while Pinion is with Alabama Farm Credit based in Cullman. Congratulations to all five of these folks. Stacy Little cooks a lot of things that are really good, but some of them rise to the level of being the best. Stick around and see what I mean as the Southern Bite Chef creates the best key lime pie. Hi, I'm Danny Carroll, Regional Extension Agent for Alabama Extension, and today we're talking about planting blueberries. Now, why are we talking about this in winter? Stick around and find out. You may think that blueberries are only for planting in the spring, but now is a great time to do so. Our soils stay warm throughout winter, and this allows for root growth and for these plants to become established, even though we may not see much growth on the above ground part. So typically in Alabama, we recommend rabbit eye blueberries. You know, we have a lot of different varieties, and it's best if you have two different varieties for cross-pollination. That's really going to boost your crop. In order to have cross-pollination, you know, you need two blueberry plants that are blooming at the same time. So if you're going with some of the early varieties, you would want to have two different varieties of the early types. Okay. If you want the later varieties, you would want two different varieties that bloom at the same time, but later. As far as pruning goes, blueberries may be one of the lowest maintenance plants. 
However, you know, you can see here as they grow every year, they get taller and taller. And blueberries bloom off of last year's wood. So what grows this year or this, this past year, this is gonna have your, your blooms for next year. So typically after we harvest, once these, you know, get way above our head where it's hard to harvest, we may prune down right after so that they still have time to grow throughout the year. And I like to keep blueberry plants, you know, about head height because to me that's the perfect way to pick them. Growing your own fruit can be very rewarding. Try adding blueberries to your garden and watch them grow. What we eat, what we wear, it all starts somewhere. And if it's good, it usually starts with a farmer. And that somewhere is right here in Alabama. In a field, in a barn, on a tractor. Right now, there's a farmer starting something good for all of us. And it all starts right here in Alabama. There's no such thing as downtime when you own a farm. This is your land. You tend it and try to get the most from it, no matter the weather or time of day. It's been that way for generations. And for generations, your local quality co-op store has been there for you, with a full range of agriculture supplies and services, from feed to fertilizer, seed to grain storage, and the right hardware for any application. You'll always find what you need, plus friendly, knowledgeable advice at your local quality co-op store. There's one near you. For more Simply Southern, follow us on social media. And while you're online, visit our website, simplysoutherntv.net. Simply Southern continues in a moment. Sweet Corn Alabama, we just saw it as such an amazing platform to be able to market for farmers and small Alabama businesses. Being a niche producer, a commercial mushroom laboratory, um, it's very important that we kind of get the word out about who we are and Sweet Grown has been monumental in helping us do that. I think just support your local community, your neighbor. That's the backbone. Discover what's growing in your neck of the woods at sweetgrownalabama.org. 